Hi folks. Well, I broke the serpentine belt on the uh, Jeep. And I wanted to show everybody in case they had the same motor. It's a 2.5 liter, four cylinder. And I'm going to change the serpentine belt. And those of you that go to change it, it could become a mystery on actually how to adjust it. So that's what I wanted to pretty much explain. There's a bolt underneath here that needs to be loosened up. And then there's a bolt behind the alternator over here that needs to be loosened up. And then after that, you don't see anything else, and the person is going to think that it should be able to slide back and forth, but that's not the case. Now, way underneath there, I'm going to see if I can get my hands in here and show everybody. There's a bolt right here. Now it's not going to have a space when it's without making that space and this here needs to be loosened off in order to tighten the belt back up and well no, not to get the belt off because the belt's going to break when you need to replace it but to tighten the belt up and to get the belt back on is this bolt here is the one that needs to be loosened up and it's really hard to see difficult to see so whoever has to change one of these belts and put one on and tighten it back up that's the key bolt way down here it's really hard to see you got to kind of get behind everything and take a real good look and then you'll detect where it is and then loosen that up quite a bit and then you put your new belt on then you need to do the opposite obviously is tighten that back up until your belt is nice and snug not super tight just with about maybe a half inch wiggle back and forth on the belt and as far as how the belt goes well that's usually on the back of the uh, belt cover or underneath your hood somewhere the diagram of how you lay the belt out onto the pulleys and stuff so I won't get into that it's just the part where it actually loosens up on your power steering pump and that's your adjusting point this slides backward and forward and the that's what you want to look for it's down here now the other bolt is up underneath the pulley directly underneath the pulley that needs to be loosened and then the other one is on the back of the power steering bracket you can see this little slot right here that's the sliding sliding mark so the alternator will slide back and forth when it's loose like it's doing now now the amount of movement depends on this bolt down here this is why it has to be loosened up to get that movement on this one here the belt was a little bit too big and then the, the new belt was a lot smaller than the belt that was on it so in my case I really have to loosen this adjuster bolt up and I'm not there yet I, I need another about another inch to go not the easiest bolt to get to in the world that's for sure but uh, slow and sure we'll get the job done okay thank you for watching everybody and don't forget to subscribe.